by a divine. Can y'all hear me? Oh, yeah. 
For the Bible says, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding shall guard our hearts and our minds. That's what's wrong with all this killing and these murders going on around here. We're not guarding it. My Jesus, with the spirit of the most high God. My Jesus. Oh, we need a silent night. Uh, impressive 
I'm going to hit a lot of the uh, uh, things that's going on here with the grievance process because the grievance part of the uh, grievance update is the grievance process is a halt to do to uh, the contract negotiations. And, you know, contract negotiations is something that uh, um, we uh, uh, kind of hoping that it will uh, 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 be settled along with the, uh, the budget because there are some uh, attempts to uh, uh, do some uh, adjusting to the uh, benefits, and we're hoping that will be dealt with. Um, we also have the uh, mediation. This is the fourth step of the grievance process. That is a free process that um, it doesn't cost the rate period anything, and we're probably going to be moving some of the uh, grievances to through that process to make sure that uh, everybody gets an opportunity to, get to have a, uh, a fair hearing. Um, speaking of uh, that fourth step, the arbitration is a part of that fourth step, and that's one of the things that uh, uh, right now we're at uh, federal court with uh, one of our cases, and we're hoping that that'll be dissolved and resolved here in a few, uh, a little while. Um, I also want to remind the stewards that uh, uh, it's your responsibility to make sure that uh, we're not filing frivolous grievances and making sure that we remind the members that they uh, either have a Greek right or a, or a, a actual um, concern. And when you have an actual concern, you'll know, pursue it through, through the process. But when you have a gripe, I mean, when, a, when the individuals are uh, uh, late to work and the crew leaves them, that's a gripe. But when you're, uh, when, when you're not getting paid for some time, that's a, a genuine human concern. And we want to make sure that the, uh, uh, the stewards recognize that. Um, also, we want to make sure that everybody is aware this is a concern throughout the company uh, when it comes to arrests. Uh, we know that uh, a lot of people run into situations where they have a lot of different reasons. Some people are arrested for uh, things that are uh, not really their fault. Well, the only thing is that, that, this, that the, uh, we have an arrangement where uh, as long as you notify management, as soon as you get back to work, that you should be clear and you just have to remember that because so often individuals don't do that. They wait a while, they don't uh, uh, make big contact with the uh, supervision of management. We want to make sure and encourage the stewards uh, along with uh, uh, these items I just listed. But just remember that uh, you all are an integral part of the process and uh, uh, congratulations and thank you all for coming. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, Pat. Bill, we ask that you please come to the board. Kim, I, I want everybody to know right now, I am not going to sing because I cannot carry a tune in the bucket. I'm sorry. So Merry Christmas, I'm not going to sing. There, I just gave you something. I'd like to address a few things that are going on at Lake Ashton Water that everybody needs to be aware of. Um, the commercial driver's license, they're very hard to get. I've kept my commercial driver's license even though I do work down here with Rick and his full-time staff. They're very hard to get, but if you ever lose it, you're in trouble. Management sh should be notified immediately upon you losing your commercial driver's license, or you'll be disciplined as soon as they find out. So the rule is if you have an issue with your driver's license, you have to let management know immediately as soon as you, you know, as soon as you know about it, tell management. Don't delay. Make sure you tell them the first contact. Voter registration and education. Now, very important. We have a big county election coming up in 2018. And right after that is the Memphis City election in 2019. We want to make sure that everybody knows that Local 1288 is reaching back into the community, urging everyone to vote by signing individuals up that are not registered to vote. Extremely important. A lot of people have died to protect that right. That's right. That's right. A, lot of people, a lot of people didn't die, but they had the fire hoses turned down in back in the 60s for you to be able to vote. So make sure you register and you vote. And make sure you vote the right way too. Don't vote the wrong way, because if you vote for the wrong person, then you're going to be just as much trouble as if you didn't vote at all. Please inform people that if they'd like to see a real change in the condition that they need to get out and vote for the politicians to truly have your needs and, and uh, concerns at heart. The Committee on Political Education 
or COPE as we call it here at Light, Gas, and Water. We like to remind everyone that we have a payroll deduction slot for employees to give to COPE. And what happens is when we have politicians that the union elects this, you know, votes to support, we ask for a donation from the COPE, and they send a check down here, and then we send it, we give the check to the politicians that are running. It's ultimately important that we donate to COPE so that we keep the employees educated on politics and also help our friends get elected into office. Nothing worse than not having your friends in office. Because then things happen. You don't want anything bad things to happen. You want to keep the good things happening. Okay, our Facebook page is IVW Local 1288. We've got one of the best Facebook pages around that I've ever seen. Become our friend today at IBEW Local. You stay tuned to Breast of Local and National News. We do update our Facebook page. And our, our union website, you can go to, in our IBW Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation website, is uh, www.johnnydawsonfoundation.org to see all the current happenings and events surrounding our charitable organization. As well as you can also donate, just click on donate to give to this wonderful organization. And I want to remind everybody tonight that you've got a white card in front of you on the table. Please fill the card out and donate to the foundation today. We do a lot of good things for this foundation with your support and your help. We have a payroll deduction slot for our, our 501c3 organization. Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation, and we started this organization to give back to the community so the community can see that we're behind the customers of MLGW. And we are 150% behind the customer. We want them to be able to see that. Also, our foundation, we've donated a lot of money to other 501c3 organizations as you're gonna to see tonight. Tonight we're going to give away $90,000 to various organizations within Memphis and Shelby County. And we pride ourselves on helping those that are in need. Tonight we're going to be given a total, like I said, $90,000, which was voted on by our foundation executive board and then the membership of the foundation. It's extremely important that everybody understand that our foundation is like no other foundation in Shelby County. We have the only charitable foundation with any, within any local union within the IBW nationwide. We're on the cutting edge, but we're on the cutting edge because of you all's support. So again, you know, I make sure I give till it hurts. I'm asking everybody else to do the same thing. If you already donate to the foundation, thank you for your donation. And if you do donate already, please up your donation a little bit. I always try to raise, I always raise mine every year. And if you don't give, we're asking you again, please consider donating to the foundation, extremely important. 99.9% .9 of all money collected goes back to the community. We have no overhead. We don't pay staff. We all do these, these uh, things on our own time. We make sure that everybody understands that all the money goes back to the community. Again, 99% of everything collected goes back to the community. The other 0.01% is strictly to pay the uh, auditors for one time a year audit that has to be done. So that's the reason why we're not at 100%. So again, thank you for coming out tonight. I know it's cold out there, but um, at least it's not snowing, right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Bill. We, we appreciate you. At this time, uh, I would like to introduce to you our very own business manager, Mr. Rick Thompson. He will come and he will present organizing awards to those that assisted the foundation during uh, the Johnny da well, this was, yeah, the, jo the Johnny Dawson Charitable Foundation. And also, he will be recognizing the officers and stewards of IPEW following a dedication song by Candy Quillen. Thank you, Mr. Rick Thompson. Tonight. Glad to be among friends, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in the IBEW, uh, 
one of the most important things in our media is organizing. And throughout the year, we are mandated to organize. And we have members that uh, get off work for a week at a time, and they go around through the division and try to get people to sign up for the union. And uh, so we want to recognize those employees that, that got off work for a week and um, and went around and, and signed up. Uh, believe it or not, that's a hard job. When you ask people to, to join the union, you got a lot of people that don't think they should be in the union until they get in trouble. Yeah. When they get in trouble, then they want to call. They want to call you. You ain't got to look for them. They're gonna look for you. But before the end, they'll tell you, "Oh man, the union ain't doing anything for me." Until they get in trouble. Right. And believe me, I tell everybody, sooner or later, you're gonna need the union. Right. Uh, so, uh, let me just call uh, Sophia Price. Sophia Price was one of the organizers. <laughs> Go ahead, Kim. And this is the award. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. for Sophia Price performing an outstanding job organizing IBEW mid-annual membership drive. IBEW 2017 mid-annual organizing team. Ms. Thompson, business manager, and Corey Nestor President. Here we go.